So this is the work from the last video we did. Um, it's just kind of a long way to work out the pH of a buffer solution, but there's a faster way we can do it uh, using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. So what that is is pH is equal to pKa um, plus the log of, and it'll be the concentration of, uh, of our conjugate base and our weak acid, conjugate base divided by our weak acid, and those are the concentrations of those. So first of all, before we get into this, let's just figure out what the pKa is. Um, we talked in another video about how to solve pKa, and basically this is the negative log of Ka. Um, and because we're dealing with acetic acid here, we know that the, we know that the Ka is equal to 1.8 times 10 the negative 5. So we can just take um, here, let's just uh, go like that, and let's just say negative log of this is going to equal pKa. And if we go and do that in our calculator, um, that is going to be 4.74. Let's round it off to that. Okay, cool. So now we know that, well, we can go back up here and say that our pH is going to equal, so far, 4.74 plus the log of our conjugate base over our weak acid. So let's look here. We can identify acetic acid here as our weak acid because it's going to be the ones donating that hydrogen. So our concentration here, um, let's fill this in. We're going to have log of, that goes on the bottom, concentration of our weak acid is 0 0.2 molar. And then our conjugate base here uh, is going to be 0 0.1 molar, 0 0.1 molar. So if you're able to identify which one is which, this is a really fast way to do it. Um, so now let's just go and punch this in our calculator. Uh, we get, we'll keep going actually, pH is equal to 4.74 and the log of um, 0 0.1 over 0 0.2 plus 4.74 actually no let's just do this all in one go um, we're gonna get this is equal to about 4.4 and look at this we have 4.4 here 4.4 here um, this is obviously a much faster way to do this type of problem